We envision that 6G will enable data rates of hundreds of gigabits per second or even terabit per second. This is why in our solutions we must aim for higher frequencies to find such bandwidths available. Roughly this means center frequencies of 10 to 100 times more than in the current cellular systems. Adopting millimeter wave is already started in 5G and it will play a key role in 6G that aims for even higher. Increasing center frequency means that the size of an antenna is decreased. As a result, we can pack more antennas in a small form factor or regularly realize more antenna directivity and narrower beams from same physical area compared to the lower frequencies. Phased antenna arrays are usually used for beamform. When increasing the frequency, also radio lenses, similar to those that is used for example in normal cameras, are an alternative approach. In this demo, we demonstrate two different beamforming techniques in practice. I've sometimes heard saying that illuminating the whole room is not efficient if you need the light only for reading. In a nutshell, beamforming means that we transmit energy only to those directions that are required and receive energy only from those directions that are useful. This is absolutely mandatory in millimeter wave systems to get any signal through. For example, beamforming helps to serve multiple users at the same time, at the same frequency. Or even create multiple parallel links between the transmitter and receiver. In the demonstration we have set up a 28 GHz link in an antenna chamber. The radio transceivers are designed in University of Oulu. And these transceivers have been one of the key tools in experimental RF research during the last few years. In both link ends, we have 64 element antenna arrays equipped with 16 parallel radio frequency paths. In the transmitter, all antenna elements are transmitting a signal to form a directive beam. In the receiver end, we have also placed a lens in front of the antenna array. The purpose of the lens is to focus the received radio signal only to the few active antenna elements. In both cases, the beam can be steered to different directions. In transmitter, the RF paths are equipped with digitally controlled phase shifters, while in the receiver, the beam steering is done by the lens that focuses the incoming radio wave to different switchable antenna elements. The demo observer can control the beam directions in the transmitter and receiver, change some key RF parameters such as transmit power and receiver gain to provide optimal signal level for the detection. One can observe the impact on the received signal quality and achievable data rate in real time. This helps the demo observer to understand the essential role of beamforming in millimeter wave communication systems. Here, too large power causes distortion to the signal. The impact is similar to the audio systems where the signal quality is low when the volume is turned too high. On the other hand, too low signal power makes the signal noisy and hard to detect. The aim of the demo is to learn the basic principles of phased array and lens-based beamforming techniques and see the impact of power and gain control on the radio link performance.